Inquisitor General Black will gladly hunt this black wolf. Not only would it earn her a bit of coin, but would likely greatly impress the superstitious rabble in this town. Or right, here's the Alliance Arms Inn. In fact, it might even earn her a discount with the local merchants, too. The Alliance Arms Inn. The only inn in Port Last. A well-built but rather dour, no-nonsense place. There doesn't even appear to be a barmaid. There is, however, a well-armed and even better armored halfling approaching Lily. His suit is blood red and appears evil somehow. Wow, they told me you had a fine face, but gosh, you're the hero of Neverwinter, that much is sure. I guess Lily is assuming this is some type of admirer, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't want him wasting her time. I'm sorry, I, I just wanted to make sure it was really you. I want to thank you. Our family in Neverwinter, and you saved their lives when you cured the plague. I wanted to give you this ring as a token of my gratitude. I don't think she'd like to accept any gifts. But, uh, it's a very nice ring. Commander, this will work out yet. Everything happens for a reason, it does. Thanks so much for helping me, Alhamar. I wanted to find you after all to give it to you for all you've done. <laughs> yeah, I think she'd rather accept... He's gonna give her a token of gratitude, maybe in coin. Uh, I suppose, here. Take all the gold I have on me. It's not much, but I'm glad to give it to you along with the ring. I don't know if it's magical, but it always brought me luck. I hope it brings you luck, too. All right, thanking Lily, and then he disappeared very mysteriously. Despicable little admiring men. Lady of Murder supposes she'd better get used to it. Though she won't tolerate any that dare come too close. And this ridiculous and obviously worthless ring. What makes him think she would want anything that's adorned his repulsive little fingers? It's not even silver. Can I help you? All right, so here's the innkeeper for the Alliance Arms Inn. <laughs> Welcome. The inn is fortunate indeed to be visited by such heroic folk as yourself, lady. How may a humble innkeeper be of service to you? Or right, asking what they charge. Five gold for quality room. I assure you, it will be a peaceful sleep after a hard day. <laughs> All right, ask if he knows of anything odd going on. Between plagues and werewolves, a man can hardly step foot outside his inn. Yeah. Of course, he's already heard about the werewolves. Ask him what he's heard. <laughs> it's all they're talking about in here. Some knight came along and convinced some boys to go hunting werewolves. But then it turned out, actually, it'd probably be better to get the information firsthand. And, and I think... Thanks so much for helping me, Alhamar. And it's them speaking in the back, though I'm not sure why they keep <laughs> talking, to be honest. Yeah, Anders is a survivor of the whole thing. He's in here this night, and he can tell the tale better than I can. So I think one of the few reasons she even came in here. Or of course she looked at the docks. Ask her what he means by only fairly safe. One can never feel truly safe when there are werewolves running around. Oh. <laughs> I guess he's got werewolves on the on his mind. Alright. I bet a cup of wine would help you get up with more questions. Give it some thought. Quality room. These simpletons don't understand the meaning of quality. Should not be paying exclusive water deep prices for what some dolt imagines as lavish lodgings. A near dwell, just sitting on the floor, 
likely fell off his chair, drunk. Doesn't stop him from drinking, though. Disgraceful. Have these peasants no dignity? Hello there. Is there something the matter? Did you have something to ask of me? Alright, so here is the boy, but I guess more a young man. That, uh, I guess survived. Yeah. Actually, Nurek. Oh, he said it was okay to tell you about the Black Wolf, I guess. Do you want to hear about that, then? <laughs> she does. Uh, I suppose there's no harm in talking about it if Nurek says it's okay. He said that I should try to forget about it. Stop thinking about it so much. I don't know. I try. Sometimes I feel kind of normal, and then... <laughs> Pictures wonder if he's going to shape change into a werewolf right now. All I can see are those eyes looking out from the cave. And there's that feeling of knowing something's wrong. Total fear. Anyway, Carathas was a werewolf hunter, and he came here to hunt the black wolf. That's what we call Port Last's werewolf. Carathas wanted some help, so me and some friends volunteered. Brand, Gath, and Earth. I think what's confusing her is why he would even hire the help of boys. So they went and hunted the black wolf. They found wolf tracks and followed them to a cave. Carathas went in while we set up camp. Just outside of Luskin. Alright. In the hills east of the Green Griffin. Not long after we set up camp, Carathas came out, but as a werewolf. I was so scared. I can still see his face so clearly. I couldn't help but run. We all ran. I'm the only one that got away. The rest are probably beasts now, too. Or dead. Yeah, why did he go in alone? If he had hired help. <laughs> he was too worried about us. <laughs> why were they hired? And he thought it was his duty. I don't think I could have gone in alone or even with him. I don't think I could ever go back to that cave either. He was afraid that the Black Wolf would try to escape. Oh. They were only there to block the Black Wolf's escape. Alright. Doesn't sound like the best of plans, though. We didn't know what to do when he went in and came out a beast. Yeah, so I guess... Well, at least she found out where the Black Wolf's cave is. Or ask him what he knows about the other boys. Saying that uh, Earth's family might know about his whereabouts. He thinks that the family hates him. Just don't say anything about me. <laughs> All right. Ask him about Bran. He liked the mysteriousness of Charwood. All right. I think this is similar to what we were hearing from Nurek. If you find him, tell him I said hello. <laughs> Not sure if her message will come across with a silver arrow. Alright, and Gath. Gath was the one that talked me into doing this. He always dragged me out to the Neverwinter Wood. Alright. I think that's what Nurik said as well. He'd probably be out there. And what happened with Sir Karathus the knight? Likely the werewolf's den. Alright. You know, it wasn't really a bother to talk to you. <laughs> Telling Lily to enjoy Port Last. Enjoying Port Last will be difficult to say the least from what she's seen already. Sir Carathus Ironheart doesn't sound like much of a werewolf hunter at all. The Lady of Murder will show Port Last how one hunts a wolf in their ken. That is without mercy. Oh. 
Alhelor, Portlast's only anti-lycanthropic merchant, at your service. Come one, come all, defend yourself against the legend of the Black Wolf. <laughs> Alright, I think Lily likes the sound of that. Anti-lycanthropic merchant. <laughs> exactly who she wants to see. Yeah, ask him what he knows about the Black Wolf. Ah, now that is a story indeed. The Black Wolf is a legend in these parts. A powerful werewolf has been about for many years, stealing children and slaying lone travelers. Who knows how much of this is true. He's a legend no longer, however. Ander here is the sole survivor of a band of hunters who encountered the Black Wolf in the flesh and lost. Yeah, that's going I think heard he was a peddler recently come to town. Yeah, I travel wherever tales of lycanthropes abound, hoping my goods will aid in their destruction. <laughs> Sounds like an opportunist. People here are quite worried about this black wolf, naturally, so the anti-lycanthropic business has been good. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew here has been very helpful. I think Lily would like to buy some. The best that you'll find for slaying werewolves. The more werewolves that are slain, the closer we come to realizing their eradication. Well, she's assuming it's about profit. Alright, he's calling the black wolf a scourge. To port last. Anti-lycanthropic goods. Opportunist or not, Lily will gladly buy what he has. Armor of the Wolf. Lily closes her eyes and runs her fingers over the suit of tanned wolf hide. She can almost imagine it alive and trembling with fear at her touch. Imagine that. Werewolf's hide. She's not even sure it's possible that shape changers commonly revert to humanoid form when slain. She'll have to find out. Oddly enough, however, Aelor is out of silvered arrows. Business must be good indeed. Luckily, however, he's not out of Belladonna. It's a rare plant that has an adverse effect on wear creatures. When crushed and chewed, it actually protects from shape changer attacks. Lily buys five leaves altogether, one for each boy and the knight, and one for the black wolf himself. Alone, by himself, standing casually near a table, is an impeccably dressed elf with silver hair. Needless to say, he seems very out of place, and Lily can't help but wonder if he's a visiting dignitary much like herself, trapped in this miserable town. Greetings to you. It is rare we see new faces come to drink with us at the Alliance Inn. Yeah, I think Lily was curious. He's impeccably dressed, wondering if he's, well, important. All right, introducing yourself. Alas, I am no sir, though you are kind to assume so. My name is Alaith Crownober, although a simple Alaith will certainly do. At times like this, I do so wish I could return to Evermeet, where grace and courtly manners were the custom, rather than the exception. Alas, that was his way is closed to me now. I guess Lily's heard this name before. Don't worry, young Ander. This will work out yet. Everything happens for a reason, it does. Thanks so much for helping me, Alhilar. Yes, a smuggler and ruthless adventurer out of Waterdeep. Perhaps you've heard of my little encounter with the Knights of the Shield. A smuggler? Okay. <laughs> Thinks she was hoping it might be nobility or something. All right. It is of no matter. You heard tales only of the man I once was. I'm no longer he, and even if you choose not to believe me. Well, then she's not... Very interested in talking anymore. Unless he has something to sell, maybe. It is true, I was once an agent for the black market. However, I have long since retired from that profession. Certainly doesn't look it. Was that an insult? 
I'm not even sure, so I'll let it pass. However, worry, young Ander, this will <laughs> work out yet. Everything happens for a reason, it does. Thanks so much for helping me, Al Hilar. Not sure why they keep talking. However, to answer your question, I'm retired. But you have to understand, there's retired and then there's retired. Truth is, I have a few items left over from my heyday that I'm still looking to unload. But maybe you'd like to take a look. That's what she was asking. Not a visiting dignitary at all. Just a common thief in finery. She may in fact have heard of the water Davian serpent from Shandia, but hadn't realized he was an elf. A greater mask of persuasion. Feyron, the drow god of thievery, is said to have granted his followers the knowledge to create such masks. To help them infiltrate enemy camps, such as the Church of Mask. Making them some of the most effective and deadly spies in the realms. Don't worry, young Ander, this will Otherwise, Lily's had just about enough of the Moon Elf's so glib tongue and manner. Alaith, the Serpent Kalnober, is the last survivor of the famed Company of the Claw, and the last living member of the Three Blades of Tavern fame. He earned his nickname for his gliding strike in battle and his cruel sense of humor. Some believe, and rightfully so, that he betrayed and slew some of his adventuring comrades. And everyone believes he has vast sums of money hidden away in hidden cellars and in gargoyle-guarded strong boxes throughout much of the property he owns in Waterdeep. Evermeet, his home, is the final destination for elves departing Feyron, an isle in the trackless sea, the ocean west of the continent. Otherwise, Lily just has to see what the innkeeper imagines is worth five gold. Don't worry, young man. This will 